Yo, Ewan Modding, I'm calling you out. This thing's awesome! Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, we got 20 mods for you for all platforms. We have seven new and eight updates. For console only, we have one update. At PC and Mac, we have four updates. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have seven of them. We're going to start with the Patos Chopper Pack. Now, this is neat because it not only has a combine, but it also has a completely remodeled New Holland TX32 combine. It includes three different versions, plus we have the Patos itself and a trailer. So let's start with the combine because this is going to be the most important part. You have to have this specific combine in order for it to work. New ones may be releasing in the future with this pack. However, you're going to need this one to start with. 160 horsepower, 350 liters of fuel, 15 miles per hour, 5,600 liters. Probably looks like the base game New Holland 30 or TX32 to you guys. However, we got a few things we could change. Main color, we have yellow, black, oh yes. We've got blue, we've got gray, and brown. Change that up however you like. Rim color, similar story here. We have yellow, black, gray, brown, and dark blue really cool to see those options through there configurations we have the 32 we have the 34 which is going to raise you to 180 horsepower and 6,000 liter capacity or the tx 36 which is going to raise you to 230 horsepower or 7700 liter capacity so those are up wheels we have some different ones here too standard front duels so you got duels on this thing man uh, I gotta be honest with you, didn't know I wanted to see this with duels. I've seen it with duels. I don't want it with anything else other than duels. Duels forever, baby. Uh, $162,000 with this all decked out. Do keep in mind, uh, it's gonna cost you twenty dollars and $60,000 for the upgrades on this, which makes it pretty expensive, but I don't care. It's totally worth it. So once you've got your combine, you're gonna need the Patos Chopper itself. What this does is it takes the straw swath from the back of the combine, puts it into here, and then shoots it out this funnel right here. Think of this as a uh, an auger or um, a forge harvester, for example. This will take the straw and then shoot it into your trailer or whatever you're using. This says it'll go seven miles per hour. Nope, you could probably make it go a little bit faster if you wanted, $3,000. Remember, this will only work with the other combines and this mod specifically is what this mod is all about. Then we have the tipper trailer for it. It's a modified version of the in-game Force Red HW80 for Petos, as you can see there, 25,000 liters. So pretty good there. Main color, we have green, yellow, which matches perfectly with the New Holland. And then we have some different colors through there. Rim color, we have all of them. Yellow, white works. Configuration for for Patos or for other uses. So you could change that up if you wish. That's gonna be 10,750 liters. I believe pretty standard with the base game version. And then wheel brands, we have Lizard, Trelleborg, and Trelleborg, we have a standard and a wide tire. And then in Michelin, we have standard. And you can hook up multiple of these together. It's gonna be pretty cheap. So once you have everything, I'm actually gonna be using a, uh, I think this is the TX 6.1. I've actually got a Let's Play this Saturday releasing with this specific header on that. So this is not part of the mod, but go download it, it's awesome. Here's what you get. You get all three of these pieces. So let's hook it up. Let's jump in, let's get started, and let's turn on a little bit of volume. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is back in to this piece. You see slowly but surely, there we go, hook it up. So now you kind of get an idea for exactly how it's working. The combine will deposit the straw into the back and when we've got this, it will plop it in. Then we have a trailer hitch on the back of this. We hook up into our handy dandy trailer right here. Go boop, got it. And all we need now is a header. We're gonna be ready to do a little bit of harvesting and straw shooting not swathing. Remember, the whole idea of this mod is to make picking up the straw easier. It also gives you some more options on your combine if you guys want to use the base game New Holland. There's a few things that we need to do first. We need to unfold the harvester. We need to make sure that the straw swath is enabled. So we're going to go over here and enable straw swath. Boom. We've got our arm down. Then we're going to select our pipe and we're going to pipe out. 
That's going to point it directly in, and it follows very well. EY Modding, formerly Yagi's Modding, did a really good job modeling that. Then we just need to turn everything on. So you turn on your combine. Your um, straw blower is going to turn on automatically there as well. And then rock and roll. Start going forwards. And then straw sp starts to deposit. So you can see we have a wheat uh, piece in the back. And we have straw all at the bottom right hand corner. Straw is filling up pretty darn quickly. And the wheat is doing well just fine. Let's hire a worker on this. Can we do that? Yes, we can. And can we use the ignore speed limits mod that's on PC? Yes, we can. It looks like the straw and wheat are filling up at almost exactly the same rate, which explains why the trailer was so large in capacity. You can see back there, the, the trailer itself. That's pretty cool, man. I tell you what, that's pretty cool. That allows you, well, the straw's starting to fill up a little bit more now than it was, but nonetheless, this is how this mod works. Do you like it? Come on, of course you like it. This is so cool, man. Remember, this is only gonna work with this specific combine, at least right now. One thing that I'm just seeing here, if you turn off the combine, uh, this is gonna happen. It's just gonna drop it straight out the bottom. So if this is not working, uh, it's just gonna kick it out the bottom like normal. So you could put some on the ground if you wish. We also have tipping on this trailer. So we have tipping left side and right side. You can see there's on the left side. And if we go in here, tip it on the right side, you've got that as well. That, that is a really cool mod, man. Next up today, we do have another combine. This is the Fortrait MDW527. This is going to have a horsepower rating of 197, 520 liters of fuel, 12 miles per hour, 8,400 liters total of crop capacity. And well, there's zero, absolutely zero customization. We do have a couple headers. So we have the MDW header. That's gonna be six meters, not too bad and six miles per hour. And then for that, we have a header trailer, but that's not all. We've also got a corn header for it as well. This is the FKA 602. This is also six meters and also six miles per hour. Unfortunately, no customization on this. Cannot make it blue. For those Massey Ferguson fans out there, don't worry, you have not been left out today. This is the 6000 series Dyna 4 from JV3D Modding and Steve Modding. It's gonna have 125 horsepower, 210 liters of fuel, 21 miles per hour. Beacons, we have standard, which is none. We have a beacon on the left, and well, that's it. Just the one beacon. We'll set up, we have standard tire, we have a balloon tire, and back and forth between those, so just the two wheel options. And engine, we have 125 horsepower, 135, 145, and back down. That's gonna be the 7, 80, 60, 7, 12, 13, and 14. Next, we have the ZZP60 ZM60A. Oh yeah, uh, this goes one mile per hour. Why? Well, let's explain it. This is a mobile mechanism for loading grain and seed from the ground to the bodies of trailers or trucks. It can be used to transport using a trailer device. Uh, and it is kind of neat, actually. I mean, you can see it's, well, it's definitely different. Basically what you do is this area down here at the bottom left-hand corner of it, you back this in to your grain pile or whatever, and then you put a trailer under the spout. It's, it's, it, it's a belt kind of, more or less. Uh, we do have some customization here though, rim color. All of these, ooh, some beautiful ones in here. Let's go with a light green, main color, same ones. Purple, please, thank you very much. Trucker Matsy, love that. And then design color, how about we go with red there. Sticker configurations, we have option one. Okay, so nothing on this side's changing. We did have one thing that disappeared, but it looks like we're just having a few things disappear overall. We have 12 different options for stickers. Doesn't look like they really changed too much. And then design, we have a couple different shields, different types of covers and things that you could do, one on the other or not. Not too bad, it's pretty cool. Next up, we have the Lizard Dual Chamber. This is an additional front take. It can be filled with solid fertilizer or seeds. Uh, price is going to be $8,000. Capacity is 3,000 liters. And this is for the Case IH Quad Track base game so do keep that in mind colors as far as that goes we have main color and we have all of these right here so you can choose whatever you like but 
Base is Case IH Red. It's only going to work with that, so there you go. Seeds, fertilizer, 1,500 liters of each. You're good to go. We've got a new rear mower for Massey Ferguson fans. This is going to be the DM8314. This has a 160 horsepower requirement. Not terrible, not too bad. Nine meter working with, very good. And 13 miles per hour. No customization on here whatsoever, but it is looking very good very good and your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the workshop this is going to cost you thirty thousand dollars uh it's great storage space for vehicles trigger is uh configured located by the toolbox on the floor so no toolbox in there let's come over here and see what we've got so we got a couple lights one for each room maybe i need to oop i closed the door on myself let's go ahead and open that back up there we go we do have a light toolbox on the floor they weren't kidding right there it is i like that they don't have it shown however i know there's going to be about 90 percent of people who won't read the description ahead of time so just heads up the trigger is right there you can pull your vehicle inside as far as design looks good i like it it is what it is got some nice windows on here it's uh feels very german uh, so if you guys are playing on a nice german map Yep, this would work perfect for you. As far as updates for all platforms, today we have eight of them. Let's start with the map Walled Sea. This is going to be version 1.002, improving the water plate to be able to dig down into creeks and three bridges as placeable objects. You do not need a new game save. And an update to the map Klein's Land. This is going to be version 1.001, new silo for cow feed on the main farm. You've also got one new side farm with pigs and a silo for pig feed. Five new fields, a total of 10 now. Five or two new meadows, total of seven. One new point of sale, total of three on the map now. New point of sale for straw, hay, and silage. One new buyable area for placeable objects and paintable cobblestone. They did not say, however, I imagine, yeah, you're going to need a new game save for this one. And an update to Cork County. This is going to be version 1.002. Fix the farm silo placement over the train tracks and added a farm silo without train access. How's about an update to a logging map? Switchback Canyon from ATUB Modding and the NLA Gaming Team. This is going to be version 1.5. Bakery and Factory for Mashaba has been supported. Your next update for all platforms is going to be the OMB back. This is going to be version 1.1. Visual error has been corrected and added two types of trailers. So beforehand, we had this version right here. Now we've got a version that's kind of similar, but not quite similar. And then we have a bigger, badder version. Issue. I have issue with this, though. Only 30,000 liter capacity on that. 25,000 liter capacity on this. And the same here. I understand that I'm like the king of, you know, let's make it bigger and that type of thing. There's trailers that have 60,000 liter capacities that are this size. Just saying. Would be nice to see that capacity raise up a little bit. We also have an update to the low loader version 1.1. Change the mud flap, change the tires, and minor fixes and improvements overall. How's about an update to the LM62640 snow attachments? Oh yeah, this is going to be version 1.0.1. They say console release. However, that's not true. We had a console release last week or the week before on this mod. Uh, it's been out for a little while now. Uh, but we do have some other things like attacher type. Standard, front loader, telehandler, wheel loader, oh yes, and that's going to be the same for all of them. So now, you don't have to just use what you were using before. Would have been cool to see a 3 point on here as well, but you know what? I'll take what I can get on these. They also added color configurations. We have a yellow, black, and NMC green. And that is going to be the same for all of these. And your last mod update for all platforms today is Barrel version 1.1. Add a new configuration, change the materials on the mainframe, and minor fixes and improvements. Looking good, man. Looking good. How's about something console only? We have one update for console players. This is an update I believe the PC got yesterday or the day before. Well, the day before would have been Sunday, so I guess it was yesterday. Uh, the Chrome Big Pack 12080, another mod that I think has been kind of ruined a bit. ARM team, I'm sorry. The uh, version 1.1 we'll talk about it compatible with new description version of course added connection hoses wires better pickup physics added pickup effects added uh, one axle version adjusted the cam er, camber angle those are all really really good updates however 
They also added the Straw Harvest add-on mod and Twine Capacity to 24, requiring you to use this. Now, I have been told that you can use this mod and the John Deere version without. However, it throws up lots of errors on the log. So just a heads up there, it would be nice for them to release maybe the versions that don't require Battle and Straw Harvest. A little personal, but it is what it is. And lastly, today we've got some updates for PC and Mac players. We have four of them. The first one is going to be Hops Equipment from JZD Void Dice. It's going to be version 1.1. Fix some parts on the Forterra. And an update to the Herbs Greenhouse Package from Zotal Zoct version 1.001. Fixed an error of the wooden box input capacity. But that's not all. When we get one, we get multiple Zotal Zoct mods. The next one is Pallets High Shelf Storage version 1.005. Error in the XML for the wooden boxes has been corrected. And your last mod today, an update to wooden box production from Zotosoct version 1.002. Fixed a bug in the XML for wooden crates and fixed the quantity adjusted for wooden boxes. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Goham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. You probably heard me say something about using this header on a video this Saturday. I'm going to be doing a new series starting on Saturday. I'm going to be returning to some old maps and having a little bit of fun. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. First video is releasing this Saturday morning. I'll be sad. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you guys later. Peace.